stop it. Stop doing the most. Stop with the green hair. Stop with all of this crazy mess that's not that's making people not take us seriously. Hey everyone, it's us and I'm back with another video. So this one is kind of kind of kind of going to be like a rant. <laughs> I hate lace frontals. I'm not a fan. I haven't been a fan in years and I'll tell you guys why. Well, first let's let's bring some positive stuff into this. I think black women are beautiful. And I think women are, are beautiful. Like all the women on here are phenomenal, especially the ones who are creative and do do these lace frontals. They get so creative with it. But I must say that I have not seen one that looks real. I'm sorry. Text was, I don't know who's talking to me this early. Um, I unless it's. Beyonce, but I don't, I don't even think Beyonce wears lace frontals. I, I think she does something secretive with her hair, but I am not a fan and I'll tell you why I'm not a fan. One, I'm such a natural Lista type girl. You know, I like subtle looks, a natural look and lace frontals to me just take that away. And since hair is such a huge factor when it comes to beauty, you know, I love to see like a natural face with like na either natural hair. And when I say natural hair, I just mean like your hair or like a natural look, whether you have like clip-ins. I'm a huge fan of clip-ins. Clip-ins or, um, you know, a nice sew-in or, um, like a little four by four closure or something like that. I feel like that looks the best on women. But a lace frontal, that I can't, I can't get on board. And yes, I have tried it. I tried it twice. Um, the first time I tried it, I think I, I looked great. I looked good up until like day three when the wig started to lift up. And I was just like, what the f I just paid maybe like $500 to get this done. And it lasted about three days. No joke. I was fly until day three and then I started to panic. And on top of it, I got it sewed down and taking that wig off ripped out my edges like no other. And after that, I was like, I wanna try this maybe one more time. So I did. I went and I bought a lace frontal and I glued it on myself and I, it wasn't it was sticky and I didn't like that was before I got into skincare so well I was it was in the process of me getting into skincare so I didn't see the damage that it was doing to my you know hairline and I have a pretty straight hairline <laughs> you know and for for me to just kind of like put that on, like I tried to do baby hairs. I don't have baby hairs. It was just, it's just too much. And I think that black women especially are just, we're, we're becoming too obsessed with it. It's becoming, you know, the only thing we talk about, the only thing we do and it's time to stop. But like we, we, we gotta do something else. We gotta, we gotta show our hair, show our hair, this is my hair, show our hair, you know, don't be ashamed of what you got. Unless you're, you know, I, there's people who do re reviews and there are people who do need lace frontals. I'm not, I'm not talking about those people, but I'm talking to the women who are definitely dependent on this and they have a full head of hair or, or, you know, this is the only thing that, you know, they feel beautiful in. And if you are insecure about your hair, you know, you need to dig deep and, and, and figure out what is it that you're insecure about? Why do you feel this way towards yourself? And really ask yourself these questions because there's just no need. It's just hair. It's just hair. And, you know, if you disagree with me, that's fine. You know, but I'm just saying, like, I, 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 I don't like them. 
I don't like them at all. Um, I do think they're way too expensive. And I do think our money could be put elsewhere when it comes to taking care of our hair and our body. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna dictate on what, where you should be putting your money. I'm just putting my opinions out there, you know. I want death to always frizzles. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, um, it's just, it's just a little crazy to me that, you know, we are this obsessed with hair in a way that, you know, is, is having a, a, a pretty bad effect on us and, and our self-esteem, you know. Like, I was watching Love and Hip Hop. I had my little ghetto ratchet shows. I only watch it because my sister was watching it. And I was just like, damn, these girls are beautiful. They're beautiful. And then I'm like, what the hell is coming out of their head? What the <laughs> Listen, if you could rock pink hair and red hair, good for you. But the thing is, it just doesn't look real. It doesn't look authentic. And, you know, it just look, doesn't look natural to me. It, there's, it's just too much. And I feel like if you are a conservative woman and you're into this stuff, um, you know, you, you got you to gotta, you gotta figure out how to get out of this because it's just not the conservative look, you know. There's ways to, to rock a lace frontal that I have seen. I take it back. I, I have seen some really, really good ones. I forgot. I think his, his name is Alonzo. He does great lace frontals. And he has a more glamorous look. Like his hair are very, his, his wigs are very glamorous and flowy. And, and you know, the women always look gorgeous with it. And I feel like it, he's ne he never does the most. And every time I go on YouTube, I see girls doing the most and it just does not look good. And I haven't seen much videos of people kind of calling this stuff out, you know, stop it. Stop doing the most. Stop with the green hair. Stop with all of this crazy mess that's not, that's making people not take us seriously. You know, and I get people are going to say, <laughs> people are going to say that you know, I'm hating or I'm this and I'm that. And I'm, trust me, I've been there. I never tried colored hair though. I never tried colored hair. But, you know, I feel like this hurts us more than helps us. And if you can put your emotions aside to just kind of see where I'm coming from, you know, maybe we can have more of an in-depth conversation. But I don't know, maybe it could be me. Maybe I'm just jealous and I want to wear yellow hair. <laughs> and I'm mad that I can't pull it off. <laughs> but part of me thinks that it's it's also just, you know, it might stem from insecurities. You know, I just, I just can't see myself, you know, promoting lace front wigs anymore. I just can't. You know, even the ones that look good, I'm just like, just stop. You know, you'll see how I do. I'll, I'll, I'll get some beauty tips in here soon. And um, I will always promote like quality hair, quality like, like beauty tips, you know, because I, I want women to give themselves the best because they deserve the best. And when I see these women put on these crazy looking wigs and think that they look good with these baby hairs that go crazy you know I'm sorry it doesn't look good it doesn't look good and I want to talk about the damage that it does to your skin so when you're constantly putting glue on on your your you know I see the girls they do the cap thing and then they're spraying the got to be glue and they're using like that other glue what what you're doing is, you're, it, it seems like you're you're creating a dis, 
like a line of demarcation on your forehead and you're also ripping out the hairs there and that can cause permanent damage to the follicle. I know girls love doing this to their hair but if, if you can't let go of the lace frontal look for better alternatives to wearing them because it's it's not going to look good in the end <laughs> or take a break from wearing them and figure out how to style your hair you know be confident in what you have you know be confident i'm sure you look just as beautiful if not even more without the craziness going on and you know if you are you know on my channel then you know you get to see the way I do my hair some days I probably won't even wear makeup I'm, I'm starting to though I realize this is YouTube and I should start taking it more seriously and you know less is more less is more you know we need to stop being so loud with everything why 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 must we be loud all the time and I don't even even mean like in like the literal sense like you know it's it's more so just our presence like does not have to be loud all the time we do not have to be showy you know we can just be calm cool and collective and let's start with our hair let's start with calming it down a bit just, it down. just a little bit just a little bit and if you're mad at me just know that i love you and i'm your sis and i'm just gonna keep making videos that you know that i feel like girls especially black girls need to hear you know be cautious of what you're doing to your skin.